just emphasizing how common psychological concerns are in people with diabetes. So there have been a number of studies that have looked at this, and they look at this in a number of different ways. So sometimes they ask people to report a questionnaire on how much psychological distress they're experiencing. Other times they actually do interviews and can give a formal diagnosis. Um, so that's why you see on the slide some of the differences, the ranges of psychological disorders. But basically, in general, what they found is that about 40% of children with diabetes met criteria for some psychological disorder um, after diagnosis. And that's a huge percentage. That's more than twice what we would expect in the general population of kids without chronic diseases. And in adults, we also see a very similar trend. So just to make sure this was clear, this is at 7 to 123 percent. It means it's 7 to 123 percent higher um, than in, in adults without diabetes um, or showing psychological disorders as well. And what the research has shown is that there are a number of populations that are more at risk for these psychological concerns. So adolescents, as you guys I'm sure know, adolescents 
parents, um, anxiety about hypoglycemia, so really worrying, the parents staying up at night, worrying about their children and whether they're going to go low during the night, um, and then just general frustration that